All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we are talking about how to lose weight. A few tips on how you can lose weight, especially as like a delivery driver. Not that that really has anything to do with losing weight, but I'm gonna kind of give you guys a set schedule on like how, well, how you can make it easier for you guys to lose weight for those of you who are trying to lose weight or just get into better shape. I'm gonna give you what I think is my perfect schedule for uh, delivery driving and being productive as well as making money and also losing weight while you're at it. Or, I mean, in my case, I don't even wanna lose weight. I'm trying to actually gain some muscle. I just got done like a month ago uh, doing a UFC weight cut with our guy, Tony Ferguson. And uh, we both were weighing around 175 pounds, I believe. God damn it, that stupid static noise. Uh, so he got a call to do his fight against Charles Oliveira. We were both about 175 pounds at the time, so I decided to cut weight with him and uh, went down for basically 20 pounds. I think it was 19. I think it was, uh, yeah, it was 19 pounds that we lost for in two and a half weeks, which isn't really that hard. And the last five pounds is usually water weight anyways, for especially for like UFC fighters. Man, it is traffic time right now. But today I'm gonna give you guys three, three, maybe five, I don't know some quick tips on how you can lose weight and stay in better shape. So first off, the first thing that I do that I implement every day is I don't eat until two o'clock. Intermittent fasting is huge. You gotta give your body a break. You don't wanna be feeding your system all day long. Cause when you think about it like this, every time you put a foreign object into your body, which is food, you know, your body's gotta really like take that time to process it, digest it, figure out what it is, and then uh, run it through your system. And uh, basically, when you give, or when you're doing intermittent fasting, it gives your body time to recuperate, to recover, and to do things that it needs to do. When you think about like civilization way back in the day, they weren't eating three to five times a day, they were eating one time a day. So that's kind of how humans uh, developed growing like as humans, you know? Most of the time they were only eating like once, maybe twice a day. But, so I, Personally, I mean, of course, there's always different ways of doing everything and stuff. Maybe, like, as a personal trainer, I used to tell people, this is like, I started training in 2010, so this was 10 years ago when I first started, and I would tell people they needed to do six meals a day. I would definitely not suggest that nowadays. I think intermittent fasting is the way to go, uh, just because you don't want to be overloading your system all day long. So that's tip number one. Don't eat until... I, I think, personally, I think it's easier to put your window later in the day. I work out anywhere from four to six, usually. Uh, so obviously, if you're gonna be losing weight, you generally should be working out. And not, you can get away with not working out, but it's obviously not suggested. I would suggest working out, doing like a full body workout at least every day. Um, and then if you wanna like build muscle, then you wanna kinda break up your muscle groups into different days and do more of like a chest and tries one day and then a back and buys the next day. But for those of you who are just trying to get into better shape, definitely think about doing intermittent fasting. It is huge, super important. And uh, if you can, try to get in like a morning cardio workout. And I'm not talking about on the treadmill. I mean, go and like lift a bunch of weights in different ways, you know, like do like one back, one chest, one leg workout, like just hit your whole body. That's what I call intermittent uh, not intermittent fasting, fasted cardio. That's what I do on a daily basis. I'll go to the gym, usually like first or second thing in the morning and get a, just a quick workout, you know? That way you can burn off any like extra fat you have hanging around. So second tip that I would highly suggest to everyone is don't eat carbs around times that you're not working out. That's something that I do and I've always been able to stay pretty lean. Um, just do, if you're not gonna work out, just try to avoid the carbs. Don't get french fries, like avoid bread, those kind of things. If you can, try to stick to like fats and proteins because carbohydrates, they only do one thing and that is give you excess energy. And if you don't work out, then you're, it's just kind of going to nothing, you know? But I would definitely, like for example, I'm about to go to the gym right now, I'm on my way, uh, right after we get gas, but I just ate a, uh, I'm not gonna say this is the perfect meal, but I had a pasta with avocado. Uh, chicken pasta with avocado, it was pesto pasta. Um, the pasta gives me some carbs, that way I feel a lot more powerful when I'm doing the workout, and it just overall gives you more energy. 
But if you're not working out, there's not really any reason to be eating carbs, in my opinion. You know, you take everything with a grain of salt. But I have been a licensed personal trainer for quite a long time, and I do perform athletically for a living. Um, so of course, take like the advice and ideas from it, but don't listen to everything I say literal, and don't be mad at me if I say something that is not 100% correct. But I think generally everything that I'm saying is pretty universally looked at as to be correct nowadays. All right, and tip number three is to find a workout or sport or activity that you enjoy doing that's not necessarily going to the gym. So I found that it's way easier for me to stay in shape when I'm like going to the skate park a lot or if I'm taking like Muay Thai classes, doing like any sort of MMA training because I'm not really thinking about it as a workout. I'm thinking, oh, this is fun and I'm learning. And then after you're like, wow, that was a great workout. Rather than when you go to the gym, you gotta kind of got to force yourself to do certain kind of workouts. It's not like anyone's, I mean, maybe some people are like, whoa, bench press is so much fun. But I generally don't think like working out and going to the gym is that fun. So you got to have like a fun workout that you enjoy doing, like whether it's playing basketball or just find a hobby and the hobby is going to help you lose weight. You know, like just for me, going to the skate park is like one of the things or going to the trampoline gym uh, and then like the MMA classes that I take. Anytime I'm done with any of those activities, I generally have worked, I probably burned off like a couple hundred calories. Rather than when you go to the gym, it's much harder to push yourself. Unless you got pre-workout and creatine, that's what I've been taking. I take the C4, I wouldn't suggest C4 to be honest, but uh, and then I take the creatine HCI from GNC. Uh, other than that, like supplementation is really important. Definitely gotta get your protein. Like, if there was one thing I could suggest, it is going to be get your body weight in grams of protein. Because, I mean, some people may argue this, but I think protein is like the main building block of muscles, and in, whenever I have enough protein, I feel way better and I perform much better. So, to break that down, like, a pro usually like a scoop of protein has like 25 grams of protein in it. You wanna try to not get like if you weigh 150 pounds, you don't want to get like fucking six scoops of pr or protein. What you want to do is get as many different kinds of protein as you possibly can. Eat like meats and stuff. And uh, of course, like if you're vegan, then there's other ways of doing it from beans. I'm not vegan. I don't really suggest being vegan. When I was vegan, I did not. Uh, I just did not feel as powerful and as strong as I do with uh, eating meat. But basically what you should do is Make sure you're getting those grams of protein in, you know? The grams of protein is so important. So for me, like, I'm always, I make sure I get at least like 25 to 50 grams of protein in each meal. And I eat a lot of eggs. Obviously, I have nine chickens, so that takes care of that. But anyways, just wanted to put out a quick video because I see some people asking for advice on losing weight in my comment sections. And I personally miss being a personal trainer a lot. I was actually looking into renewing my license the other day. I just don't think I have time for it anymore. So I'm just gonna give out as much free advice as I possibly can to those of you who enjoy it. And uh, if you guys are like a delivery driver, like it wouldn't hurt to like kind of, kind of uh, use this kind of schedule that I do. Anyways, so we just got to the gym. I'm gonna finish this pre-workout. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you enjoy any any of the tips and advice that I give out and uh, subscribe if you guys haven't. We will see you in the next one. Make sure you check out offaxisacrobatics.com. Use my discount code offaxistanner or for the next three days we have this uh, the $35 ninja sale. Use the code Tanner's YouTube and you'll get the Off Axis Ninjas for $35. That's only until February 5th, 2021. Who knows when we'll have another code like that but anyways. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.